Tonight, tonight, we're looking at 7 o'clock at 86, 79, and 9 o'clock, 11 o'clock will be at 75. Skies will be mainly clear across the entire area. Look what we're dealing with right now. We have 80s, although getting close to 90 right now. They're in Doniana County in Las Cruces, 84 in Alamogordo, 70s, 60s up in the higher elevations, 85 in Sierra Blanca, Van Horn at 87 degrees. And there's a look at some of the traffic on the roadways out there. We're looking at our storm opportunities. If you look ahead to tomorrow, we're going to be talking about this area shaded in green. We'll have a chance of seeing some isolated thunderstorms, but as we make our way into Friday, you're going to know how we do a shift here with some of the storm chances farther out towards the east of us. There's a look at Friday and notice it, it moves more towards the east. We're still across southern New Mexico and far west Texas will be in that green shaded area where we can't rule out one of those isolated storms to develop. We could use the rain and we will have an opportunity. If you look at our latest future track computer model, you notice as we run the model here, 10 o'clock skies will be mainly clear. Tomorrow morning we have clear skies, but again, we're going to be looking out towards this area, out to the southwest where some more clouds will develop, a little better moisture supply, some instability will happen. And look at this, by 3 o'clock, we could be tracking some rain, heavier storm activity farther down towards the south of us as we make our way into the 5 o'clock hour. We could be tracking some activity El Paso County, uh, Hutsmith County, maybe in between Sierra Blanca and El Paso. The storms will continue to march towards the northeast. And then once we head into Thursday night at 8 o'clock, maybe a few scattered showers out there. Some of the activity will continue on an easterly movement. And then Friday morning. We'll start off at 6 o'clock, mainly clear skies, but it's not over with yet. We're still going to be looking at some thunder showers potentially. Here's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, at least this model run, indicating maybe a line of storms that will fire up. They'll quickly move off towards the east of us. What's going to happen later tomorrow? The winds will turn more westerly. That will gradually start to push these storms to the east of us, bring in some drier air, so we'll gradually clear the skies as we make our way into tomorrow night. So I think if you have any plans tomorrow night on the Friday night, I think for the most part we're going to be looking pretty good as most storms will stay off to the east, Hutsmith County and Culberson County. How much rain are we talking about? Not a whole lot. You look at the numbers here. This is by 11 o'clock on your Thursday night. Again, nothing to be too impressed with with those uh, numbers out there, but of course we'll take what we can get. Here's your temperatures tomorrow. Going to be another warm day, hot day, depending on how you look at it. Temperatures going to be in the low to mid 90s. Look at Donietta County for you folks. La Mesa at 92, 92 in Chaparral and out there in Santa Teresa at 93 degrees. So here's how things look tonight. 60 degrees, mostly clear. Will be a pleasant night tomorrow. 91. We have a sunrise time for you at 616. 10% chance of a storm later in the day. 55 in Las Cruces. Your high tomorrow. We'll make it up to 91. Watch over the next several days. So we go 91, 89, still that 10% chance for some rain. Here's your weekend. We're going to be hovering right around 90 degrees both Saturday and Sunday. Mother's Day. The winds are going to be up. Not too bad, I think. Gusts to 30, 35. We'll talk more about that coming up in our next weather segment, Mark. Okay.